so hello and welcome and um, today we're going to be making a little pencil case I like to think of it as a little an executive pencil case this is one that I would use for work um, I don't need many pens at work um, obviously but I do like to have something on me and um, best will in the world this if this leaks it goes everywhere so um, now so we've got pencils we probably need a pencil to measure it by now this is the common zip size this is uh, what you'd get in a skirt or anything now I'm using this size because I think it's the cheapest way to buy zips um, I know for a fact that I can get 10 of these for a pound in England whereas if I wanted to go a couple of inches bigger I'd be talking about three pounds per zip so it's just because they make so many of these you know they're in everything um, I've got some material for lining and this can be anything um, it can be cotton as well although I've gone for something silky but it is that was leftover scraps um, now I bought this leatherette from a craft shop um, I've used it in so many projects and I will continue to use it in projects I love it um, you can use anything you like I suppose although I think it does look good as it is all right so we need our sewing machine we need our zip and general sewing things like pens and skizzers so I hope you enjoy it's been a pleasure to do and um, yes thank you ever so much for watching so hello there well the lining I do have a spare bit of um, well it's taffeta actually and um, I'm going to use that as the lining and I have got some leverettes here I bought it from a craft shop quite cheaply um, I found it really easy to sew with and um, great fun so um, I will be using it again and um, I, I thought it was relatively cheap but this will look stunning now the pattern you need it big enough to put your pencils in so I don't know this is the longest one I've got most pens are a lot shorter so I need it long enough for that and um, I only need like a few things at work I don't need much so I'm going for quite a small one I, I, I hasten to say an executive style pencil case now what I need is my lining to be on the inside so I need my zip facing down so that when it's finished it will be that way if that makes sense now I'm going to open the zip slightly and I'm going to line it up on the machine the machine's all set up I'm not using a zipper foot or anything I'm just using my normal foot um, yeah if you've got a zipper foot great use it but if you haven't don't worry okay because we're right on the edge of the, the, the teeth um, it's a bit hard to get going but that's fine we'll just give it a little nudge and a, a push and everything else like that but once it's come out of the back slightly then I can give it a good tug now I'm halfway so I need to put my needle down and I need to close my zip so I'm going to lift this foot up just to give myself some room now you're going to get sick of me doing this because it'll get harder and harder the further we're into the project so my zip is now out of my way and I am in the same position that I left it I know that because I left my needle down and then I can sew the rest Seam, a couple of reverse stitches and there we go now I know I'm terrible I never ever tidy up my ends but I made this once years ago well I made a fluffy penguin one and um, <laughs> then at the end last thing is I got all these loose threads caught in the zip and broke the zip so yes completely Fiona that is so now what I need to do is I need to sew this side to this side. Do, do, do. 
and again getting it all in position and then start sewing halfway along I'm going to do that down needle up foot open zip straight away and checking my stitches and checking that everything's the right way around. So now I need to use this leatherette. Um, I love it. Um, obviously you can use whatever you like um, but I have it here and as you will see at the end it makes a lovely for pencil case. I must admit, in my pencil case, I don't necessarily keep pencils, but, um, yeah, you know. So, it can be as big as you need to be, what I'm saying, really. If you need a, a little bit of small change, then that's great. I hate to say, if you need somewhere to hide your cigarettes, actually. <laughs> that's what's going through my mind. Lovely. So, that's that. So you can see it's quite take shape quite quickly and then we need to put that onto there. So I'm going to move the zip slightly just to make it easier on myself. This lining is not getting caught up because I think that might be my problem. Let's start again. Let's have a little look. Okay. Yeah, I suppose I could say the bigger it is, the easier it'll be as well. Um, you know, obviously we want like a, a little executive pencil case but um, if it's a, a standard size pencil case like my um, cross stitch thing then um, it'll work just as well so I've got to the point so we're at the point where I need to put my foot down lift my oh, sorry put my needle down put my foot up and then move my zip now the bigger the pencil case, the easier this is, so... Because the zip now is in between these two bits of fabric. So. There we go, kind of got it. And I've, I never said that this bit was easy, did I? No. So. Hmm. It's not working. <laughs> I could have gone a few stitches across actually before I tried to move the zip. was enough and we'll just see shall we <laughs> that was more luck than judgment okay so not 
just coming up to the end here. Okay, tidy up my hands. Not normally very important. I can always, I, can, I can normally do it all in one go. So what we've got is the zip in the middle and this sort of tubey thing. So what we need to do is we need to match up the leatherette. We need to that needs to be square. Nothing else really matters as long as this is square, because otherwise it will look terrible. So away we go. needle down and then I'm going to get the matched up outer side on. It's just going over the zip there. So. Now, do we want little feet? I think we do, don't we? So it's a bit more confusing if you're using leatherette how to, to get the, the shapes in. Uh, no, sorry, it's a bit more confusing if you're doing it lining, how to get the shapes in, but um, it's not impossible. So, to do little sandy feet, we um just going to go diagonally across them. Now, in a way, you don't really need to even do the lining um, with the shaping, um, but I prefer it, so I'm going to do it. Um, lovely, and then we're just going straight across there. Now this will sort of give us a, a little square bottom, if that makes sense. Um, it'll all become clear in a second. So what I need to do now is I need to turn it inside out. Now if the zip's open, it's easier, but it's not impossible. So all this has to go inside out. So you can see I'm sort of pushing it through. I'm not turning it inside out in um, in the lining or anything. I'm turning it inside out with the leatherette. So here we go. Hello. So we're just going to put little feet on it. other side as well of one of them we can't sew up the lining so we're going to make sure we line up our zip properly again because that's the important bit it is honestly if the zip's not lined up then it'll look silly so and even if nobody else notices you'll know you know so I'm just going over the zip now so it's complaining a little bit Lovely, couple of reverse stitches because there we are, and we're gonna pop in a little foot again, and we're gonna measure these up by eye. So there we are. Maybe we should trim the excess off as well. So the same machine complaining a bit because we're going over four layers of leatherette. Let me get the needle out. There we are. Look at that. Just trim off the excess and maybe have another go. But this is all on the inside, so I'm not worried, you know, nobody's gonna see this. Surprised it's complaining. <laughs> there we go, it's 
managed to de sort of tension itself, which happens. It is a very old machine, this. It's had a really hard life. <laughs> yes, my mum bought it for herself 40 years ago, and um, I was still living at home, so she gave it to me when I left home. There we go. Yes, <laughs> I'll fix that later. So you can see what I'm doing anyway. I'm just literally making a little foot. Now what I have to do is very carefully not to stretch it, is turn it all inside out through the hole in the lining which I haven't yet sewn. So yes, please bear with me. What I'll do is get that there. So you can see why I say the bigger this is the better. But I just think this size is really cute. There we go. It's all coming through now. And of course it's inside out because we're putting it through the lining. Because we want the stitches on um, the outside to be clean, don't we? And um, we're not too worried about the stitches on the inside. So... There we go, we've got our basic shape. Um, just going to check that the zip works before I go any further. I do this at every stage. Um, so we've got our little pencil case with our little feet, which is a bit scruffy there, but yours won't be. Now all I need to do is just tidy up this lining. Because um, I haven't sewn it yet. There we go. Now, with my fingers, what I'm going to do is just pop that in there. And then I'm going to run a row of stitches along there so it's nice and tidy. <coughs> oh yeah, I broke my machine, didn't I? <laughs> yes, so if that happens to you, Basically, clear everything out, it's filthy in there, uh, and then put it all back together again. So, let's take the bobbin. This is the bobbin casing, which goes in like that, and then this slides, and the, this is the bit that catches, so. And as you can tell, I've done it so many times before, and if I put that there, Oh. I can always change machines actually, I don't even know why I'm worried. Um, yeah. It's just a matter of lining it in there. I know that the grabby bit goes at the bottom and I know that the denty bit goes at the top and then I, all I have to do is slide at least one of these black supports into place. There we go. When I do it when nobody's watching, it's quite easy. So, that's in. Put that over the top, just, just a bracket to hold it in place. And then slide my black feet over there. And then it's a matter of refreading the machine. And maybe treating it a bit more gently. That'll be fun. Far too much cotton. so I can see and then I've got my thread lovely round a full turn back a bit and then pull the threads through so yeah all I need to do is just stitch up that lining and then my little pencil case is finished I bent the needle as well, so I'll change. 
change that as well. But I've got a few stitches in there and that's more than enough. So. Lovely. That's all finished. Tuck that in there. And then double check it all works. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Um, I'm just going to change the needle actually. I'm going to do that now so I don't forget because there is a chance. Now sewing machine needles, I um, I use universal ones. Um, I don't really worry. I do think single ones are the best. Um, but um, I don't know. I just accept that I break them every now and again. And that they get blunt and everything else like that. So, yes, I will change my needle. <laughs> I have hundreds of these, honestly. Hundreds. <laughs> so, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Changing the needle is nothing for me. Threading the needle is another matter. So there we go. Machine's all safe for next time. There we are. And um, that's all done. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Um, it's been a pleasure, as always. Thank you ever so much. <laughs>